Hi, and welcome to the Monthly Skinny, where we dig into the most recent numbers from the Twin Cities housing market. I'm Pat Paulson, President-Elect of the Minneapolis Area Association of Realtors. Let's jump right in. The home sales hot streak in the Twin Cities slowed somewhat in January. There were 2,700 pending sales for the month, a decrease of 3% from a year ago. That's the second consecutive month of year-over-year decline in pending sales, though the declines have been pretty small to this point. The biggest growth in sales? Traditional, non-foreclosure or short sale homes, where sales have jumped 28%. Strong sales means there's a lot fewer houses available for sale than there used to be. At the end of January, there were just over 21,000 homes for sale, a drop of 16.6% from a year ago. That's led to stabilizing home prices. January marked the first time in the last 41 months that the median sales price for the month was actually higher than a year ago. I know, I know, that used to be a pretty ho-hum and normal thing. But remember, we're just coming off three consecutive years of dropping prices. Right now, ho-hum and normal feels pretty darn good. Not coincidentally, days on the market is also moving in the right direction. The January mark of 135 is an improvement of 8% from the mark seen a year ago. More good news for beleaguered sellers. Good news galore, right? Well, let's throw a wet blanket on some of that. Two big aspects of what's been driving the local market in the right direction the last several months are the federal home buyer tax credit and extremely low mortgage rates. Unfortunately, both of those market boosters may be near their eventual end. First, the tax credit expires on April 30th and likely will not be extended. Second, the Federal Reserve intends to stop buying mortgage-backed securities in the near future, a move which will likely lead to an increase in interest rates. Unless these changes are effectively offset by other economic improvements, we can expect downward pressure on home sales in the months ahead. We'll be keeping a close eye on where things go. That's the skinny for this month. Check back next month for the latest. <laughs>